Hello, I'm Christopher Jones from Bicycles Network Australia, and this is the second episode in which we look at the life beam which measures my heart rate from within my helmet. You should look back at the first episode in which we look at two variations of the life beam. The life beam can be purchased as an integrated helmet solution with the life uh, beam Genesis helmet from Laser, but the life beam can also be purchased as a separate unit. This is a separate unit and that can be uh, put into your other laser helmet or potentially another brand and used as an upgrade. Uh, this is a sensor right here and that measures your heart rate. So in this episode today, we're looking at pairing the LifeBeam uh, technology with our cycle computers to see how this works. So the first thing I'll do is I'll take my helmet and I'm gonna turn it on. Now, at the rear, I've got my LifeBeam unit. On the inside, this is the sensor which goes against my forehead. Uh, to charge it, now I've already done this, is underneath this flap there's a little port and I can do the charging via USB. I get a nice blue light here which traces back and forth and I can see the status of the charging or also know when the battery starts to get low. So the first thing is to, to turn it on with the button at the bottom. So three beeps and now it's on. Uh, within this light might be a bit difficult but I can see that this is shining blue which means that it is now on. So let's put it on my head uh, so that it's working somewhat. Okay, I'll get a nice fit. In fact, just drop the straps. Okay, now I'm done. First step is let's use a smartphone to see how that works. So on the smartphone I have Strava and I'm already within the settings. And I'll look for external sensors. It says none are paired. So click on external sensors. And the next step is in heart rate. Look, heart rate, I've turned that off as I was testing. I'll turn this on and we'll see what happens. Searching. So I need to keep any device, I need to keep it relatively close to the helmet. It says within three meters for it to be able to pick up. And the way that it would communicate is typically over low energy Bluetooth, which is standard in many of the newer smartphones. So in some of the uh, older ones, you might find that it has Bluetooth, but not the low energy Bluetooth, which is required. The low energy Bluetooth is from about on the iPhone side, it's a problem about the iPhone 4S and above. Uh, this is a newer iPhone 6. So looking at this, that has found the helmet and I can already see it says connected and it's got my heart rate. I am a very relaxed, about 77 to 80 beats per minute. This is good news, so I am paired and I'm ready to go with this. That means that when I turn on my Strava and start to record it, um, this is automatic, automatically going to be connected with my ride data, which connects all the GPS information, and be able to add my heart rate. A useful uh, way to measure, um, to measure as part of my performance while riding. Let's have a look at another way of pairing and connecting. So put this smartphone down. The next one is with a cycle computer. I've got a Magellan Cyclo 505. It's got a nice uh, full color screen. And I'll go into the settings, click on the settings, and into sensors. Click on sensors. I've got heart rate already checked, but I'll go and find it. So it says disconnected, and I now need to pair a new sensor. So I'll click pair a new sensor. Please wait. So hopefully this won't take too long. In a previous test I did that took quite some time to pair. So with a bit of luck, then this goes relatively quickly. And I'm holding it just as close as I am the smartphone. We'll just pause. Oh, here we go. Already done. Done. Heart rate monitor sensor. New sensor found. Would you like to connect now? Of course I would. Yes, please. Would you like to use this device? It's got a little ID number. I click yes. Rename the new heart rate sensor. Okay, I'll, I'll rename it. I will call it... Um, I will call it Life Beam. Life B E A M. Life Beam Laser for the Laser Genesis helmet. L A Z. Where is it? Z? Z E. Okay, well, that's the limit of my uh, my name. So I just click OK and click OK. So now I've got my. Uh, my, my cycle computer here also connected. Now, obviously while riding, I'm only going to start recording with one device. It doesn't make sense to upload multiple rides on separate, uh, on separate devices up to Strava. Um, but it does suggest that 
regardless of your device, if it is a modern device which will be able to connect via Bluetooth, then I can connect this helmet very, very quickly and easily and be able to start recording my heart rate. Uh, I save the, um, the let's say the, the hassle or the discomfort of wearing a chest strap, it's all in my helmet now. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and could see how we can pair this. Um, stay tuned to our other episodes where we present more cycling reviews and uh, information about cycling. So subscribe to our Bicycles Network Australia YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.